On special segment tonight, Jackie Presser's Problems. Presser is the new president of the International Teamsters Union, and he came into office promising to clean up that union. But as Brian Ross reports tonight, Presser has problems, and they come from his own family. These are home movies of a party which brought together members of one of the most powerful families in Ohio, a family that for three generations now has run the Teamsters Union in Ohio as a kind of family business. The best known member of the family is Jackie Presser, who took over the Ohio Teamsters from his father and two months ago was elected the international president of the Teamsters Union. The host at this party was Jackie Presser's uncle, Alan Friedman, an ex-convict and a power behind the scenes for years for Jackie Presser in the Ohio Teamsters. When these pictures were taken in 1979, there was apparent harmony in the Presser clan. But now there has been a falling out, and it could mean big trouble for Jackie Presser and the Teamsters Union. Last week, Jackie Presser's Uncle Alan, Alan Friedman, was indicted by a federal grand jury on charges of embezzling Teamster funds. And Friedman now says, because of the charges against him, and because of his feeling that Presser pushed him aside in the Teamsters, he is ready to give testimony that he says will incriminate his nephew, Jackie Presser. Jackie Presser should have been in jail dozens of times, uh, going back 30 years. He thinks that I won't testify against him, and again, I love him. He's my nephew. I dislike the things that he does, double-crossing me and doing what he's doing to the working people. I'll have to do, I'll do whatever I have to do. Federal prosecutors want Friedman to testify in their investigation of Presser's payroll at a Teamsters local in Cleveland. Union records filed with the Department of Labor and signed by Jackie Presser show that at one time or another over the last 10 years, Presser's uncle and four individuals with alleged organized crime ties were on Presser's payroll and, according to investigators, did no union work, a violation of federal labor laws. One of the men on Presser's payroll, John Skippy Felice, a Cleveland mob figure, who just last week was sentenced to five years for extortion. Another Cleveland hoodlum has already pleaded guilty to taking illegal payments from Presser's local. Yes, they were stealing... Uh, uh, members' money to pay off uh, certain debts and pay some of my debts. Alan Freeman says he was put on the payroll by Presser and another Teamster official after he agreed to merge his small independent local with Presser's Teamster local. Yes, Jackie made, Jackie and Harold uh, Freeman made a deal with me for a thousand dollars a week and I wanted to do something for it. But Freeman says Presser and the other Teamster official under investigation didn't want him around the union hall. So, even though Friedman has pleaded not guilty to embezzlement, he says he never did anything for his $52,000 a year salary. At a Teamsters convention in Boston this week, Jackie Presser said he did not want to talk about his uncle or the grand jury investigation. Did your uncle work in those period, that period of time? I'd rather not discuss that, Brian. I mean, you try to push me into something. No, I don't want to discuss that. They say you signed the checks. Your, your name's on the checks. Uh, Is that all you want to discuss with me? Well, I'm interested that in that. Well, all right, then we won't discuss it not until later on. Thanks a lot. When he came into office, Jackie Presser vowed to clean up the Teamsters. Now, just two months later, he himself is the target of a federal investigation involving the alleged misuse of hundreds of thousands of dollars of Teamsters funds, organized crime, and the allegations of one of the men closest to him, his own uncle. Brian Ross, NBC News, Boston.